The head of MI5 says the number of terror plots thwarted against the UK is higher than at any point over the last 30 years. Andrew Parker tells the BBC it's vital that surveillance laws are updated but claims they won't be used to spy on innocent people. We're not about browsing through the private lives of the citizens of this country. We are focused on behalf of the public against those who mean us harm. In the first live interview by a serving head of MI5, Mr Parker also says he wants internet companies to do more to combat potential threats. Also tonight... Refugees and migrants break through, into the, through the border into Croatia as the government says it can't cope with the sheer numbers. You can see now the fence has been well and truly breached and people are surging past me in the hope that they'll get transport up here. But there's really nothing there for them. There aren't enough buses. A special report into the unaccompanied child refugees left to fend for themselves on the streets in Italy. Sir Malcolm Rifkind and Jack Straw are cleared over cash for access allegations after a parliamentary inquiry. And getting ready for the Rugby World Cup, one of the biggest sporting events in the world, coming to cities across England and Wales. And on tonight's Reporting Scotland, on the eve of the anniversary of the referendum, the debate about another one intensifies. And a woman pleads guilty to threatening a mother and daughter who were later found dying in a hotel room. Good evening. The head of MI5, Andrew Parker, has warned the UK has foiled more terror plots against it than at any time in the last three decades. In the first live broadcast interview by a serving MI5 boss, he told the BBC that six terror attacks had been thwarted in just the past year. He also argued that laws governing surveillance powers needed to be updated. Our security correspondent Gordon Carrera has more. <laughs> 